What's going on guys, Tells A6 here with Weekly Review and today we're going to be reviewing Fast Racing League for the WiiWare service made from Shin Multimedia. Now this is a game that is exactly pure racing. Now, if you're a fan any bit of Wipeout, uh, F-Zero, any of those games right there, it's like F-Zero and Wipeout basically had a kid and it made this game. It came, became this game. Of course there's a, a couple other things but I'll explain it during the review. So, Otherwise, guys, enjoy. Okay, guys, this is Fast Racing League for the WiiWare service that was made from Shinin Multimedia and as well as developed by them as well. So let's go ahead and show off the game. Now, you have three different control schemes that you can use. You can use the Wii Remote with the Wii Wheel, Wii Remote and Nunchuck, or the Classic Controller. And we're going to use the uh, Wii Remote by itself. Now we're going to show off basically the main menu first. Uh, of course, before when you start the race in single player, you will have to go through qualifications to be able to teach you how the game works and everything. You have single player where you take on three different difficulties. Multiplayer with split screen that is in 16 by 9 uh, widescreen. So if you love widescreen games, you're going to love this because it's great for split screening. You have unlockables for all your unlockable items, and then your jukebox, when you beat the entire game, you'll be able to listen to soundtracks. So let's go ahead and take a look at some single player. Now when you start in the league, you have three different choices, like I said, for difficulties to choose from. Either Neutron, Proton, or Ion. When you beat each class, you'll be able to unlock a newer one. But let me tell you, the courses are extremely hard when you go on to the higher difficulties. I remember playing on Proton about... I don't know, about 20, 30 times, and I couldn't even get past second. It was just that hard. And as you can see, uh, Shinin, if you guys are watching this, uh, remember when I asked y'all for permission and everything to review this game. Um, sorry, I have not beaten it yet. Like I said, I mean, the game is just that hard, and I envy y'all for making this game for as hard as y'all made it. I mean, even the challenges on this game are hard. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, difficulties, and we'll show off some racing. So we're going to try off uh, Proton, and I'm just going to show you all basically how it is. Now, I have three different leagues to choose from. Shima League, Siberia League, and Sunhara League. So, of course, since we can only do Shima Leagues, so we'll do Shima. And then you are able to unlock certain other racing cars that you can get after beating certain difficulties. Like, we have the Achia X, the Keira Goku, the Bahia BM, and the DT Bostaton. Um, each of them are labeled for their weight velocity and their acceleration so if you want faster go with via vm if you want more sturdy go with the dt bosotan so we're going to do the via vm and you can also change the colors of them as well but this is how basically the game looks and it's beautiful it is really beautiful how they were able to make the graphics look on this and just like in a racing game you can use the two button to start and get you an extra boost now controls are simple. Using the two button to speed up, the one for brake, and if you're using the Wii motion controls, all you do is just move with the motion. Now you'll run across these pellets. You will want to grab as many of these as you can to use for later portions. You can be able to change the shield from black or white. When you go over that shield, you have to be that certain color to be able to either gain a boost or you'll slow down as you can see right there. And as well as taking power jumps, and more often. When you get five pellets, you will gain a boost. You can use that boost whenever you want at any time. Just make sure that you do have an extra pellet ahead of time in the later stages because you will need to in some stages where there's like four or five of these platforms that you have to change colors on. Now you'll go everywhere. You'll go upside down, you'll do loops, you'll do everything. You'll do huge jumps and everything in this game. So it's very fast paced. Now at first when you start on the very first difficulty, I will say that it didn't feel that fast. It felt like you were only going like 30 miles an hour. It felt like you were going grandma speed. But trust me, once you get to the higher difficulties, the game does get very fast. And this is game is running at 60 frames per second, so that's pretty impressive actually for a WiiWare title that's only 10 bucks. Now, I do have some common complaints. With the one button, you are able to use a drift. This drift, or so-called slide, what they call it, does not work 
terribly well in certain courses. Now, I mean, you have 36 courses all together in this entire game, including with the three difficulties and in challenge modes, which I'm going to show off next. But, I mean, trust me, you won't really be using the slide that much. Or at least from what I have found out. I haven't had to use the slide hardly any. Welcome to Flood Area. But, we're going to go ahead and show off real quick one more race, and then I will be showing off the challenges, which... Some of those challenges are just outrageously hard. I'm gonna see if I can top first in this one. As you can see, you have an announcer that'll tell you like, hey, you're two seconds ahead, or you're five seconds ahead, or you're two seconds behind, five seconds behind, anything like that. So he can kind of be a little bit annoying at times, but not always. And there's a part where you can go upside down, like I said, you can go upside down, you can do like loops, you can do tons of stuff. There's even one uh, portion in the challenge mode that I'll show off where you have to leap over this mountain and you have to not even touch it. You have to go like over five, six hundred yards to be able to reach your achievement. And it's pretty awesome because I mean if you choose a certain car, you're going to guarantee not getting past it. But each course has three laps, and each of the tracks are different, every single one of them. There's not one single one that looks the same. But I mean, there's some beautiful graphics in this game. I mean, you just look at that. I mean, for a WiiWare game, these almost look like PS3 graphics, which is, I would have to say, pretty impressive for nowadays on a WiiWare service. But one of the things that I don't like about the game is just two simple things, which was the slide technique that I told y'all, the so-called drift. I don't like it because you have to hold down while using a motion controller if you're using the motion, um, both two and one at the same time while you're drifting, and I'll show it off real quick. But it doesn't work that well, and you'll end up crashing most of the time, and you'll fall behind like I am. So... I don't know, I mean, I've never really had a need to use the drift, but I mean, everybody else is different, so y'all may use it if you want to, if you want to try it out and try mastering it, you're more than welcome to, but in my opinion, I just don't like it. The other thing I don't like is, this is of course being because of the WiiWare's download service limit, but I wish that this game would have online. I think that this would be like an F-Zero that we've been waiting for, or like a so-called Wipeout clone, basically, is what I would call it. But it's basically like F-Zero and Wipeout basically had a baby, and it came out like this. Yes, I know. I'm a weird asshole, ain't I? Anyway, that was some of the stages, so now let's go ahead and show off some challenges. So here we have the challenges. You have three different types of challenges you can choose from between either A, B, or C. So let's go ahead and show off some of the challenges in these. And we're going to just display what you have to do in some of them. Like this one says reach the goal in under 13 seconds. That one wasn't that hard, actually. The reach the goal in under 12 seconds was actually very hard, but... Let's go ahead and show off the one that I was talking about before. This one is called Jump 595 Yards. Now, you can also change the color of your car if you wanted to. If that's what that little bar up there, of course, is, if nobody knew about that. But you can change them to whatever color you want that's in that available selection. But anyway, let's go ahead and show off this challenge, and I'll just tell y'all basically what you have to do. Without doing that. <laughs> I wasn't ready. So let's try that again. And like I said, you have to, sometimes you'll have to move your car in a certain area to be able to make it so it'll work right. Like that right there. So I get 603 and I got you a star for that. So now let's go ahead and show off, eh, which is the one I want to show off. This one is fun. Reach the goal in 10 seconds.
That one I almost crashed into the wall. That would have been funny. So now let's go ahead and show off. Uh, which one do I want to show off next? Which one of these is really fun? Collect 50 items in under 25 seconds. This one's is fun. This one you have to avoid all these tornadoes. And they will screw you up at times. And I'm not going to make this one. I am not going to make it. But some of them really get hard. Some of them are like really hard to do, but in a good kind of way. So if you're looking for a really fun game that is for 10 bucks, it's a pretty good game for $10. The only things I don't like, like I said, are there is no online, which I really wish there was because it would have been an amazing game to play online. Um, the drift technique, I don't really see a point in using it that much. Um, one other one that I would actually like to say is I would have liked to see maybe some weapons in the game. Not like Mario Kart weapons or anything, maybe like a thing of missiles or something you could fire at your other racers that are way, way ahead. But not ones that would be like how like a blue shell is on Mario Kart or anything like that. Not one that'll take out the first enemy, but ones that'll help you rocket yourself up enough to be able to get at least past. I mean, just to make it kind of fair. But I mean, that's my opinion though. Anyway guys, this game gets a 9 out of 10 because it is a great game. It's definitely uh, got a lot of replay value because I mean, those challenges will make you want to go back and try to finish those stars and get all the stars in the game which will make you unlock even more cars than you have right now and as well as the jukebox from what I heard the soundtrack on this game is really amazing the graphics though are the big part that really just surprised me because I've looked at this the very first time the screenshots on Nintendo Life were absolutely stunning and I mean it's just it's a great game so guys give it a try and thank you, Shinin Multimedia, for giving me the permission to review your game. So, guys, take care. Later.